in the aftermath of their ignominious defeat, the Guardians sought to restore a sufficient amount of power to deal with the Lian, should he appear again. Members of the Nidirium Council revealed to them the deadly contents of the diary. In it was a detailed plan of a meteor summoning technique, and they were ordered to stop the Lian before he summoned a meteorite to destroy Nigeria and silence the world about his evil methods. Will they be able to take him down? Find out tomorrow on Orientation Day 2. The Guardians convene once again before the Nigerian Council. The Nidirium elders showed them a glowing orb containing space credits. Their task? To travel to the seven planets that the Nian had recently destroyed and collect space credits that have been left behind by Nian. Only when sufficient space credits have been accumulated can the Council track down the whereabouts of the Nian. While travelling to the seven planets, their courage, stamina, strategic thinking, speed, and observation will be tested. Will they be able to overcome these challenges in order to succeed? Find out more as you experience the mighty Meridian March. The Chief Guardians and their teams return triumphant with an abundance of space credits. The Elders were then able to unleash the spell that would help them track down you. However, just as they were attempting the spell, they experienced a sudden and unexpected betrayal by one of the elders. He stepped forth and put on the mask. The elders stood there paralyzed, controlled and manipulated by Nian, the traitor of Nigerium and the universe. The chief guardians stood there helpless as they watched the Nian defeat their guardians. The odds were against them. It was only at this point that they realised they had to work together to defeat the Nian. Disregarding their selfish desires for power and glory, they sought to stand firm together against him.